Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. Well, let's get right into things. Wendy's has a new release out. Compared to some establishments, Wendy's isn't the most frequent uh, releaser of new items, you could say. Uh, certainly, you have places like Taco Bell and Burger King, which release far more items at a far more uh, frequent rate, you could say, than Wendy's. Uh, but then again, Wendy's does release more stuff than, say, McDonald's and places like that. But every now and then, Wendy's will release a new item. Usually, it's a new sandwich, a new side, a new sauce, or uh, something to that extent. And I have to say, a trend that you've obviously seen for, I mean, years at this point is spicy food. There's always that appeal, there's always that draw. You have one establishment after the next that says, oh, this is going to be the spiciest, you know, whatever. This might be the spiciest chicken sandwich, the spiciest wings, the spiciest fries, spiciest burrito, or whatever. And then you try it out, and then, of course, it's, it's nowhere near as spicy as they claim. And uh, Wendy's is no stranger to that. There have been times in the past where they say, oh, we have this new ghost pepper sauce, we have this new ghost pepper sandwich, etc., etc. And I've tried it out before, and then nine times out of ten, it's nowhere near as spicy as emphasized, but I think we really all know that going in. But I will say this, just before we even get into the description of this item, this item stands out to me in a unique way, and by that I mean, this has to be by far the most extensive incorporation of ghost pepper I have ever seen in a fast food item. Because most of the time, and like I said, I've reviewed many a spicy sandwich before, usually they have one ghost pepper component, if that's the route that they're going to take. So it might be a ghost pepper sauce, or a ghost pepper cheese, you know, just one singular element. This, on the other hand, has multiple elements that involve ghost pepper, and I'm genuinely curious if this is going to make a substantial difference or not. So with that, Wendy's has just released the ghost pepper ranch chicken sandwich. And here's what I mean, if we break it down by ingredient. It comes with a spicy chicken filet. Now that's just the regular chicken filet, where it just has the spicy, mostly like a black pepper, seasoning that's in the breading of the chicken itself. So that's going to be the meat of the sandwich. Then it is topped with a ghost pepper infused American cheese. So there's going to be spice in the cheese. Then it has ghost pepper seasoned crispy onions. So it has those little crispy onion strings on it. That's going to have ghost pepper in it. It has lettuce, tomato, and then it has a ghost pepper ranch sauce. So you have three distinct components of this that all have ghost pepper, and then you have the chicken itself, which by default is spicy. It's available for the price of $8 just for the sandwich itself, so a little pricey, but I have to admit that compared to many of the other items that I have seen released over the years, this does stand out to me uniquely because I have never seen such an emphasis on ghost pepper. Usually it's just one component, that's it. I am just curious, genuinely, if this is going to really be a genuinely spicy sandwich, because it seems like they're really priming it for, uh, for maximum spice. It's just going to be something interesting to see. Now granted, and I think we all know this, but when it does come down to these sorts of spicy items, we know that even if they say that it's ghost pepper, it's nowhere near as spicy as like what you see on some of those food shows where the guy eats a, a ghost pepper and, you know, is practically dying as a result of that. You know it's never going to be that spicy, but I'm just curious if this actually is just a bit spicier than, than average. Comes in the wrapping right there. And now let's take a look at the sandwich itself. Here goes. So you can see, well, I don't know how well you could see it, but to me it seems like it does have a little bit more of like an orange hue to it. So you could see the chicken filet breaded, the little black pepper on it. 
So the cheese, the American cheese, is supposed to have some ghost pepper in it. Those onion strings, which again seem a little bit more orange, uh, at least from my point of view, have ghost pepper. And then all that sauce, the white stuff there, is also supposed to have ghost pepper. You see the lettuce, the bun. I'll say on a... And you can kind of see right there, that little bit of red, that's the uh, tomato. And there is the sandwich itself. Purely from an aesthetic point of view, it does look like a complete sandwich, once again, there's a good look at it. But the main thing that I want to discern today is whether or not it's spicy. And of course, if it tastes good, but I am just really curious with all of these spicy elements to it, how hot is it actually? So I'm just going to dive right in, right here, get a, a full taste of that ranch and all the various toppings. Let's find out. Again, it's available for the price of $8, just for the sandwich itself. The Wendy's Ghost Pepper Ranch Chicken Sandwich, going in. If you're wondering what that is, this little loop-looking thing, that's an interdimensional portal, and it's a new technology. There's a little knob right here that you can kind of turn, and there's these little markers on it, and each one is a different fast food establishment, so it saves on delivery costs. So I turn it right there, and now it's set to Wendy's, and then what they'll do there's another one of these at the Wendy's itself, and the food will just materialize through it when it's ready, and it saves on the delivery costs. Well, there's definitely some spice to this item. I will say, because I try to just focus, when I, when I try out these spicy items, a lot of the time I just want to assess the spice, just let it, you know, sink in a bit, and try to see how, how spicy is it really, you know, and is the spice immediate, is there an aftertaste, etc. I will say this. There is some spice to it, but given the emphasis that you see in terms of the ingredients on ghost pepper, it's disappointingly underwhelming. Now, I say that purely from a spice point of view. As far as how the item tastes, I have no complaints. But as far as how spicy the item itself actually is, it's disappointing. Because when you see this, and it's bolstered up so much, like I said, it's unique in that there were so many components emphasizing the ghost pepper. And I know these days ghost pepper isn't the spiciest thing. There was like a time 10, 15 years ago where ghost pepper was assumed to be one of the uh, spiciest peppers out there. But I know now that there are things that are just 
leagues above that as far as spice goes, but, you know, ghost pepper nonetheless is still regarded as being pretty spicy. When you have all of these components, and I'm able to sit here, maintain my composure, I don't even need to take a sip of water, or milk, or unknown substance, etc., to try to quell the spice, calm down the flames a little bit, and I could just sit here and articulate it, then it's not the spiciest thing by any means. And I know that for sure, because I remember years ago there was a time where I tried out these wings from an establishment, they're like a chain up in New York, and it's called Planet Wings, and I try out the spiciest wings on their menu. And those wings are a real legitimate spicy thing, and the experience is totally different from that of eating the sandwich. When I tried out those really spicy wings, I think it was back in, in 2013 or so, I took that first bite, and it was immediate. You know, it hit me immediately. It was just a unique feeling. I remember it was like all this blood rushed to my face, everything started getting numb. It was just a unique experience. This, on the other hand, I bite into it, chewing. All right, I could taste a little bit of spice here and there. Okay. Chewing a little bit more, I could taste the chicken, I could taste the, the tomato and the lettuce, and you know, there's the onion, you know, I'm, I'm still eating, I swallow it down. There's a little bit of a spicy aftertaste. All right, the spicy aftertaste lingers on a little bit, and then it's gone. So when you have something that's emphasized as being super spicy, it's got ghost pepper this, ghost pepper that, ghost pepper that, spicy chicken, all of these spicy components, and I'm able to sit here and eat it as though it's just either a mildly spicy item, or maybe just like medium at most, then it's disappointing because it's being portrayed as something that it's not. And that needs to be emphasized. As far as the taste goes, Tastes fine. Chicken is of good quality. This is another thing. Sometimes with these really spicy items, the spice is so potent and so strong that it, it cancels out, or I should say perhaps it outweighs the flavors of everything else. So when you eat it, all you could taste is the spice. This is not one of those items. I could distinctly taste the chicken, and it's of good quality. It's tender, it's juicy, tastes good. It's flavorful. The ranch, you would think that the ranch would have perhaps the most potent spiciness to it, because obviously it's smothered in that ranch, and they say that it has the ghost pepper in it. But instead, no, I could taste the sharpness of the ranch. Paradoxically, it almost seems like it's got a little bit of a cooling property, yet that's supposed to have the ghost pepper in it. Same thing with the cheese and the onions. All right, yeah, you could taste a little bit of a spice from each, but it's marginally spicy. I would almost be willing to suggest, or to submit, that's the right word, that the spice that exists in the onions, the cheese, and the ranch is almost on the same level as just what you would get in the spicy chicken filet itself. And obviously, if you've had a spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's before, then you kind of know the level of spice. It's like a black pepper spice. Totally doable. Odds are you don't really need uh, anything to wash it down with. Perhaps if you're a bit sensitive to spice, that's one thing. But generally speaking, it's tolerable, it's bearable. It's really no different than that. So they could, call, they could call it ghost pepper, but when the ghost pepper perhaps exists in such limited quantities that it's barely discernible, it's barely detectable, perhaps it is there in name only, you need to be aware of that. And unless you're really sensitive to spice, the sandwich will make itself out to be something that's supposed to be really, really spicy, but generally speaking, it's indistinguishable from any other sort of spicy chicken sandwich out there. As a matter of fact, there are plenty of other spicy chicken sandwiches uh, that I would say are spicier than this. It's still pleasant tasting. It's still of good quality. The ingredients are fresh. I gotta give them credit. The tomato and the lettuce have a nice fresh crisp to them, and that's nice to see. And the onion strings have a nice little crunch that really helps texturally. 
and it works, it blends together nicely with everything. It's not a bad sandwich, but as I said, when they make this seem like it's so, so spicy, and then I'm able to sit here without taking as much of a, a single sip of any water or other beverage, then just understand, this is the same as many other establishments. They'll say it's really spicy, in reality it's not. It's not a bad sandwich, just don't get this expecting this to be the spiciest thing you've ever eaten, because if you go in with that expectation, you will be disappointed. So, in conclusion, not a bad sandwich, tastes fine quality-wise, but if you're getting this solely for the spice, you will be let down. It's no different than just a basic spicy chicken sandwich, they could call it whatever they want to call it, but that doesn't change what it is in reality. It's slightly overpriced as well, $8 for just a basic spicy chicken sandwich, that is a bit disappointing. So therefore, out of 10, what am I going to be rating the Ghost Pepper Ranch Chicken Sandwich? Despite it being of good quality taste-wise, I also have to factor in the advertising. Is it what they say it is? No, it's not. Therefore, out of 10, I am going to be giving it a 6 out of 10. If you're looking for a tasty sandwich, sure, it's fine. If you're looking for a spicy sandwich, I'd say look elsewhere. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.